Welcome back to KTN Prime. A public primary school in Nakuru was closed down indefinitely after two pupils were seriously injured after a, a, a pit latrine caved in. The standard two pupils at Kisulisuli Primary School are receiving treatment at the Rift Valley Provincial General Hospital. The morning tragedy happened amidst the ongoing heavy downpour in various parts of the country, with the county of Nakuru not being spared. According to the school head teacher, Mary Kadiri, pupils had just left the morning assembly and were taking a healthy break before going to class for the day's lessons at around 8.30 this morning. Kadiri said a total of six people fell into the toilet. Two of them were injured while four others escaped unhurt. <laughs> Nafanya kasi kama mpishi wa hii shule. Sasa tulikuwa pale chikoni na huyu mwenzangu tunafanya na kasi hapa. Wakati hiyo tukio lilitendeka tulikuwa hapo tulisikia kishindo kikubwa. Tukatoka mbio si ndio tulikuwa watu wa kwanza kufika hapa. Tukakuta mwalimu mwenye alikuwa on duty tukiwa na yeye ndio tulikuwa tumefika pale. Sasa kukuta tukakuta watoto wameumia wawili kuna mmoja alikatwa hivi mkono. Na mwingine aliumia mkuu. Aliumia mkuu. Sasa ndio tukauliza ni nini ime happen? Tukaona ukuta imeanguka chini. Tafadhali tuchagua MP wetu. Ngekaria rike nyanju yakiwa governor mheshimiwa nyagothie wakuje tafadhali watusaidie maji inatoka huko mlimani inakuja mpaka huku inaingia mpaka kwa manyumba zetu kwa leo sasa imebomo ndio leo sasa imebomoa hii ni nicho ya kisurisuri tuna uzuni sana tusaidio residents of central dam in the county of lakipia today woke up to a shocking development with the exhumation of the body of a 60 year old man allegedly murdered by his children on saturday According to initial police investigations, the death of John Dirang was as a result of a land dispute. Our Raquel Mugai has the details. The once silent village of Central Dam in Laikipia County was today full of activity, but not one that can be considered interesting. The exhumation of the body of 60-year-old John Dirango, who lost his life following a disagreement over land ownership with his daughter and two sons. Everyone trying to get a glimpse of the exhumation, as if to quench their curiosity on whether there was indeed the presence of the body of a man they once knew. However, the knowledge of his death is one that may be considered not well planned, as according to Peter Kimemia, the village head, it was only during an illegal brew raid on Saturday morning that his killers confessed to the murder. Mimi najua kile mnatafuta hapa sio pobe mimi ndio nimeua baba yangu na ako hapa It is this that marked the beginning of a murder investigation and it was only until today that the police department attained a court order to exhume the body of Mzendirango So we came to the, to the, to the home and found that uh, there was a stretch of blood that linked to a makeshift grave So from there we had uh, three sons of the late that is, we have got uh, one called uh, Charles Kihia Derangu, Isaac Kichuki Derangu, and Mary Modoni Derangu, who are all in custody pending a trial. The two-acre land in dispute was divided among three brothers, while the extended family members also wanted a share, a share that did not come by easily. Kila mtu hana, ata nini, na tukowe, tukowe, ata tunashindua, moja anashindua utajega wapi. As the three children of the late Ndirango await their trial, the shocked villagers here in central Dam, like Kipia County, hope that justice will prevail. Raquel Wigai, KTN News. Also, the people of Mandera's Elwak sub-county are counting their losses as the heavy rains continue to wreak havoc 
And as Hussein Mohammed, just back from the county of Mandela reports, they await the results of an assessment by senior government officials. The floods in Mandera have led to the displacement of at least 5,000 people, many of the residents calling it the Forgotten North. Most of their food is sourced from other parts of Kenya. Exclusive uh, pictures by KTN News depict a tale of hopeless residents trying to find a way to survive. Areas such as Ramo have been hard hit. Rivadawa, which runs from Ethiopia, burst its banks recently. Most farms have been severely affected and most houses submerged. In Mandera's sub-county of Elwak, schools have been closed as water levels continue to rise. <laughs> Residents here are urged to relocate to safer zones. The Kenyan government sent Cabinet Secretary for Devolution, Eugene Wamalwa, and CS for Trade and Cooperatives, Aden Mohamed, with delegations to find a long-lasting solution. Will it be a story of the forgotten north or a story of hope for the Kenyans in Mandera? Hussein Mohamed, KTN News, Mandera. Thank you, Hussein. It is now 20 minutes past the hour, and that is where uh, we leave it from me uh, on KTN Prime this Wednesday night. Remember, coming up shortly is the latest uh, business news with Abi Agina, and later on, sports news with Moses Waisi Dushua to stand by for that on KTN tonight, of course, uh, from 9.45 p.m. We shall be bringing you the UEFA Champions League game between uh, AS Roma and Liverpool. Don't uh, miss out on that. Many thanks for joining us on the broadcast tonight. I'm Ben Kitili. Good night.